hate being on camera. And I keep whispering, forgetting that I have a mic on, so it doesn't really help. Today I'm going to be talking to Sophia Peak. She's with the Youth Sentencing Reentry Project. Sophia, could you just tell me a little bit about what your organization does? Sure. Um, the Youth Sentencing Reentry Project, otherwise known as YSRP for short, um, works to really advocate for children who are incarcerated or in carceral settings um, being charged as adults. And so our ultimate goal is um, to make sure that children are not in adult jails in prison. What drew you to fundraising? The fact that there was a huge disparity in a lot of the organizations and nonprofits that work for communities uh, that look, you know, like me, black communities, brown communities. Um, and I just saw a stark difference in terms of leadership and staff diversity. Um, as diverse as Philadelphia is, right? There is still very much a lack of black fundraisers um, in the nonprofit sector, in the impact sector. And um, this is particularly stark and really important because the nonprofit sector is dominated by largely by women, right? Um, but not black women. Um, and so again, the, the idea of representation is just extremely important. We're storytellers, we love telling stories. I'm sure as you're in development, you love mm -hmm. that you have to tell stories. Right. Can you talk to me a little bit about um, trying to tell the stories of the people that you're serving? We do the exact op opposite of what has historically been done um, in terms of fundraising. You know, when you think about tokenism, when you think about exploitation, um, when you think about tr transactional um, relationships, uh, we really pride ourselves on our client partners being an active participant, one, in their overall relationship with us. That's why we deem it partnership. Um, but two, if we're selling, telling their story, we want to make sure that whatever story that we're telling is an accurate representation of how they want to see themselves. Um, and ultimately, allowing them to tell their, their own stories. Like, we look at it as if we're the, just the conduits. Can you talk to me about how that approach actually helps your mission? I mean, because some people, I feel like, they want it to be transactional. They just want to use the story and meet their deadline. But how does it help your mission to, to be authentic like that? The biggest thing, biggest, biggest, biggest thing, when you're dealing with traditionally, again, vulnerable people who have been... Um, Vulnerable by definition of a lot of the barriers and obstacles that we know um, are are affected by because of a system. Um, there is oftentimes a lack of trust, right? Um, so again, focusing on tr trust when you are telling stories in, in a humanizing way, you're building that level of trust, and I think it strengthens relationships. So. What's next for you? I am not, I'm not sure yet. I'm figuring that out. But I know definitely um, what I will not stop doing is continues, continuing to have these conversations because they are so important um, for me and the level of lived experience that I bring to my work in general. So. Well, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it.